Hey guys, Brian here, and today I want to show you guys my main pedal board. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so let's dive right in. And I'll start with the signal chain. Uh, first in the chain is the Shure wireless receiver. I'll have the full name and the link in the description because I don't remember the full name of these things on the top of my head. But it first goes into the Shure wireless receiver into the interfacer by Goodwood Audio. This goes buffer out into the compressor Deep 6. And then this guy goes into the PVC. I'm sure you guys know how the PVC works, but basically loop number one is the pog, loop number two is the timmy, number three is the double barrel, number four is the kilt, number five is the RC booster, and then there's an out before the seventh loop, which goes out to my volume pedal and then goes back into the PVC. And then loop number seven is the HX stomp. Loop number eight is the big sky, and then there is an out of the PVC back to the interfacer. And then these are the two outs that go into a DI box or an interface. I'll quickly go over how I use the Mastermind PVC. Basically loops uh, one through five just turn on and turn off each pedal. Uh, this is a tap tempo. So you notice my HX stomp is responding to that. Loop number seven actually toggles between snapshot number one and snapshot number two. And the difference between the two is the mix level of my delay in the HX stomp. So snapshot number one is basically a very low mix delay. And then snapshot number two will have a high mix delay with dotted eights. So if there's a song that needs dotted eights, this is what I'll press. Loop number eight just toggles between the big sky. So you see that we're on A right now and this will take me to B, C, and then next one will be technically off. And then it goes back to A, B, C, off, like that. And another way that I use the PVC is to control Ableton. So on stage, I'm usually the guy who is running the tracks and doing the MD stuff. Um, so this button, the purple button, will take me to Ableton. Basically I have this set up so that number one through five is the five songs. So if I press it, it'll start the song. And then up here are my controls. So this button will start the song. This button will stop everything on Ableton. This controls the click on and off. And then these two will scroll up and down. So the cool thing about the PBC is that you can make one button do multiple things. So not only will this button start the song, so let's say I scroll to a part and then I'm going to start the song. Um, not only will it start, but it will also take me back to the preset page because when you start a song, I want to start playing right away. But you can also notice that on this page, I can also control Ableton with a few buttons up here on top. Uh, one through five is my presets and this stays as my tap tempo. So this button will toggle the click on and off. Sometimes we are off track, so I'll turn it off for a moment so it's not too distracting. And then when we're back on and I feel like we're back on tempo, I'll just put it back on and see if we're back on tempo. And then we'll just continue with the song. Uh, this will take me back to the Ableton page. And then these two buttons will scroll down and up. Uh, I don't really use this much, so I might change it later, but that's how it's set for now. As for the other pedals, um, the Timmy is basically my first stage, the Double Barrel is my second stage, the Kilt is my third stage, and then the RC Booster just raises my volume for solo parts and stuff. So for my typical go-to worship tone settings, uh, I just stay on the B for my Big Sky, which is on the Bloom setting. And then on the HX Stomp, I just stay on Snapshot 1. And then in the HX Stomp, I also have uh, two cabs that are running stereo with one amp, which is the a AC30 Fawn. And I'm not running any IRs just because I just never felt like I absolutely needed them. So I just never bought them. And then from here, I just pretty much toggle between the different gains just to get my gain stages. So this is what it sounds like with just the wet pedals on. So from here, I just add my gain stages. Uh, so the first would be the Timmy, which is number two, and it sounds like this.
And then for like the chorus parts, I'll add the double barrel. So for the kill, I don't really use the kill as a rhythm part. Um, I use this for like big solos like Lion and the Lamb or Waymaker, that kind of thing. Um, so to do this, I'll turn on some delay and then use the kilt just to make it sound really big. Lastly is my boost, it just makes me louder. So that is it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.